gimana kamu sih? kamu sih yang udah belas. Special treatment Chico Binge itu. Hi there everyone, welcome back to another video of Late the Customs. We are back with, uh, well, some random vlogs. Today we have Fritz car right here, we have Mr. Frank there, the, the Green Goblin, he wants to match his car, now we're from break cut. Yes. Yo, can you see this man, I had no focus. Oh, you're right, mate. Say it, let's get him, mate. Now, use it now. Are we, Mr. Frank? Hi, guys. Fritz, I'm back very, uh, for break cut, for break cut, you're the other one, that's a word. That's how your car sound, by the way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh shiz. But Fritz here today because he had um, way too many colony tips. So now it's actually paying off because I said to see the bus and his dove has a very very big play on so now we need to take it. <laughs> 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 now I'm just kidding guys, so we um, we actually tore uh, in a CV boot. And we're gonna replace both outer CVs, just freshen up the inner CVs, replace the outer CVs, and get it back on the car. So I'm sure you guys probably seen like two videos back or three, four videos back. I'm not entirely sure how many videos back, but Fred has coil over in his car. And if you guys don't believe me, here's it. Okay, guys. Fred actually. He's one, he's one for the books now. The man bought the rims for the car, yeah. man bought coils for the car, the man bought the sound system for the car, the man bought the exhaust for the car, the man has soon as a spoiler on the car. Nah, it's all just breakerig, it's COVID, but it's breakerig, man. Yes, I guess. It's all just breakerig, that's what I said, the whole crew is playing on the car, but the best part is, man, still doing maintenance. Nah, one thing. Zij het gejaagd. Nah, Wally, you think? Okay, my thing. Uh, nah, I had enough enough gejaagd as I'm not clear, see. Nah, I had enough time for me. Oh, you have to use a case for me, right? Ik gooi ik naar buiten, buddy. Oh, hier! Gooi water, hier, buddy, buddy. Oh, shit, but... Hi, guys. Kijk, zeg maar, fijn niet You have white wheels on, new tires. Je car is niet uitgezoot, maar je CV is klap in. Verstaand het? Dat is nog spannend ankel. Ja, kijk, kijk, spannend ankel. Nou, spannend ankel op kalani. Je zit in dat So, guys, keep in mind. Um, I'm sure you have, uh, well, I'm sure there's a lot of young viewers out there and keep in mind if you go on like Fred does I'm not saying he's going on but I mean like if you have fun the way he does he comes with consequences and maintenance, mainly maintenance mm. He hasn't had any consequences yet Nah, not, not really, just uh, tires That's Just tires and well, CVs is fine, obviously regular service So, um, we are doing out of CVs and inner CVs refresh today Oh shit, he almost. Oh, I found you there. <laughs> this man give me all the jumpy poop, me bro. A jumpy poop. But, I'm sure you guys probably seen in my previous video. I put me a, a lot over there. A maroon nice lot. Nah, I'm back with a maroon. I'm taking over um, Tegan's work now. Uh, uh. I'm, I'm, I'm making the comeback that Tegan never did. But the color is basically the same. It's uh, not, the, the, same not the, uh, uh, on the maroon. It's like, uh, you see the lesson? With the, with the pink maroon. Okay, no. He's a pop up guy. A pop up girl. Oh, yeah, I'm saying I'm a Barbie girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Barbie girl, not just a pop up girl. But I'm not in the other we're just gonna turn out. We're just having a nice daily vlog kind of vibe. And um, I'll give you guys a couple of cinematics and for everything we're actually doing. And we actually have to go make a uh, run to the port so they actually buy the series because here in Salem Boss. You can't do nothing without the sample. If you want to drain your oil, you have to drain your oil, take it to the spare shop for a sample. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally that bad. So, uh, we need to take the series off for a sample. And he's busy doing the count at the current time. So, it's very, very intense because you need a shaft count, you need a CV count in and out. Of ah, it's a, it's a difficult process. Not a difficult process, but it's a, a crappy process. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you guys are, or if you guys are gonna, I'm not entirely sure if you guys are gonna, but drop a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, because we are back with the honest, and I can't say that about everyone. Yeah, yeah boys. 
I just got in the game now. Everyone's in my shell now. I'm going to get back to my own. Oh, shit. What no? What no? What no? Green Goblin is bad. Why? But by the way, guys, if any of you guys have a VT gearbox, please let me know. I sold my VT gearbox. He's, he's just looking for one, so... I have a 180 box uh, to swap. I have 180 boxes of a swap or for sale, so let us know. It's for C as well. We're looking for it's for C VT gearbox, two of it. I'm looking for the first one, he's going to take the second one. I'll take the second one. I'll take the second one. I'll take the scripts. Enjoy, guys. We started without the CV since without you guys. You guys saw me remove the inner CV. But this is the outer CV. It's been a motherfucker. Oh, what's left of it? What's left of it? So we're grinding it off. So, yeah. Yeah, because it was must supposed to move off that side, but. So, yeah. Okay. That's my key. Still following currently, it's currently low cheating as you guys can see. Everything's really dark, but um, we ended up going with um, well, refreshing the inner series, which means just like I'm um, cleaning it up and just re greasing them with new boots. And with the outer series, we are replacing him with brand new outer series. Apologies for the dog barking there. And then we noticed that the ball just had a slight play on, so we're doing ball joints as well. So now, current problem we have is that we'll have to continue with probably without the series tomorrow, but we will continue with everything else today. Because Stellenbos didn't have um, outer series, Mr. Fakhri went and bought us two outer series from, um, what's his name again? Masterpods in Strand, but unfortunately they gave him one inner series, not outer series. And yeah. on the slip is two outer series, so that was a fault for Masterpods, but we're gonna continue with this, we're gonna fit the inner series along. And then from there we're gonna um, fit the ball joints and then we get everything ready for tomorrow. Shushi. Fucking media wins. It's not more.
Let's eat the next day. Got myself a nice fresh haircut. Fred, is your please fresh? We fresh. Fresh, what is your Fred? Yo, fresh, what is my Fred? The man is gewoon fresh. Kijk hoe fresh zijn man. Put the smells, please, this in. And for you, don't pick up the camera when the smells was here. But we got. To see, we finally got to see we saw um, yesterday unfortunately um, there's our space shop didn't have um, series so we actually uh, well asked um, Fakhri Lainus so big shout out to Fakhri if you're watching this he actually went and picked up some series for us at Master Parts in Strand they luckily had three series in stock which we only used two or actually bought two so we went with the Gibson brand these are the only series that are currently available um, I ran the Gibson on my VTEC and I didn't have any problems with it. Obviously we would like to prefer a Technosa or a solid brand CV. But this what I have to do. We got the inner CV put on. I cleaned up the inner CVs as best as I could. To remove all that sand and dirt and metal shavings that were in there. And clean it all up. Clean all the bearings as well. And got the tripod with the whole inner CV cup. Um, fitted with the new boots, new clamps on there. As you can see it's nice and clean. Outer CVs are fitted as well, as well as the passion side shaft right here. New outer CVs, new inner CV boots, cleaned up, new clamps, we are ready to go. We did not show the process of us installing the brand new um, ball joints, but I'll show you guys shortly. I'm going to show you guys what we'll be able to see right there. You guys can see some brand new ball joints right there. So, we got two brand new ball joints installed as well, so that we know Fred won't be losing a fender anytime soon. If you guys always saw a trend of a Honda, um, or a trend of a Honda losing a fender in the process, it's literally because of a portion like that, or the top portions or the tie rod, so just always keep refreshing your suspension. A Honda likes to be refreshed like at least once a year, especially when you're using it for daily use. If you're driving a car a little bit less than 5,000 kilometers a year, um, you can maybe skip, um, well, or add another six months to that, but I prefer overall your suspension, well, at least once a year to know everything is good. And it's very, very, um, well, good just to have a refreshed suspension. Let's get started. Fresh boys at that side. I'm gonna start this side getting um, everything in. And once I got everything in the car, we can actually move on to a few other parts that I still might have for sale to be able to fund this car right here. This is a couple of days later and Fritz car is driving amazing. We got the CVs installed and he's completely happy with the entire job. And like I said, I will be showing you guys what parts I've left of um, well, the B18 VTEC part I was supposed to do. But I'm currently selling everything that was like a um, part of that part, unfortunately to fund the new car. I have currently and it's not just to fund the car like the building process of the car but it's about me to be able to afford the car like paying off the car if I could say that way I'm being completely honest with you guys out here but yeah these are the parts I actually still have for sale and these parts right here that's laying here will contribute to well modifying the car I could say that way so let me show you guys what parts I still have for sale right here we have the 83 mm block right here this is a B18 B4 block. The previous one was a B18, um, B18 B3 that I had inserts in. This is a completely new block that I rebought to 83 mm. You can see there. It's completely rebought right there. If you guys are interested, hit me up. I have the crank. I have the pistons. I have the original B16 throttle body with the idle control off right here. I have, I'm maybe going to use the sum for my car. The pickup right there. The clutch is already for um, sold with um, the Vallejo um, clutch right there. I always thought that I had a look clutch in, but it's actually a Vallejo clutch. Alternators for sale. 
I might as well sell the Dizzy's one now because I'm not gonna um, use it. It's a VTEC Dizzy, by the way. Hit me up. This I will be using. I have a 70mm throttle body for sale right here. This is actually sold already. That's already sold. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We do have some exciting upcoming content coming for you guys. So definitely do subscribe, drop a like on this video. I've noticed that probably 50% of all of you guys watching my videos are not subscribed. So definitely just take 5 seconds of your day, scroll down, hit the subscribe button. We are almost at 50,000 subscribers. I appreciate all of you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.